Okay, hi, welcome to our Team Foundation Server tutorial on how to use Team Foundation Server. Um, yeah, right now we're going to walk you through our PowerPoint on how to install Team Foundation Server. And yes, it is something you do have to install first. Um, yeah, first you're going to be going to the, you're going to have to download it, of course, online. A simple Google search will bring it up to you, and it'll link up with your Visual Studio's account. So you'll be starting the wizard first. There's two wizards here. Um, you're going to be starting the server wizard first. That'll allow you to build servers. Pretty fancy, pretty simple though. So let's get started. You're essentially just going to be clicking through um, your next buttons. Again, pretty simple. Once you get that done, you'll be verifying everything first to make sure that everything is running correctly. If it's not, you'll need to fix it. Mostly it's going to be problems with your firewall, but it shouldn't give you too many problems. Once the installation is complete, you'll hit next or finish. And once it's done, everything will be golden. You'll be returning to the wizard, however, to install the second half of it, which will allow you to actually create the servers. It's another going to be shifting things around to make sure that, well, things are working and that you can build things in your Visual Studios. Um, it's going to be pretty simple. You're going to have to create the project first through the first wizard tutorial that we showed you. Once that's done, you'll be able to create it and find it in your second wizard as such. Once you've created the collection, you'll be creating it as a team collection. And you'll choose the collection. Pretty simple. I promise it's not that complicated. And then you'll be going to pick Agile Software Development. There's a couple other options, but for the case of this tutorial, we'll be doing it through Agile. You'll be clicking a whole bunch more next. And then it will be pretty much done. You'll just be adding in a few, you know, uh, uh, you know, unique identifiers such as the name and what the description of the project will be. And once that's done, you'll be done creating your lovely little project. Yay! Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so Visual Studios right here. Uh, we'll be working in the Solution Explorer, or actually down here, we'll be working in the Team Explorer. You'll click on that, it'll switch to connecting, and we'll be connecting to my account, um, which I've already created, but we'll also be going over how to create your own account in uh, Visual Studios. You will need to create an account for this. It's free. You, It's not anything you have to verify with or anything that you have to, you know, sign up for. So, right now we're connected to my Visual Studios account, which is in my home. Um, it shows you a couple different things that you can work with with different projects, and we're going to show you how to use said projects online. So, visualstudios.com, um, we're in my account currently. Like I said, Google search will get you out how to make your own account. It's really simple. But right now we're in the overview section of things where we'll be going to our users right now, just to show you around what's here. Um, and so here's a list of people that I've added to a couple of projects that I've created. So, and it's pretty simple to add and delete people to all of our little projects we have going on. So we'll go back to our overview. And over here, we have a thing that says recent projects and teams. Now, when you're in Team Foundation Server, it's all about your team. Woo! So we'll be going over here to new, to create a new project um, where you're going to add everything in. So we're going to make example. Sorry for the loud typing. You can add whatever description you'd like. We're just going to say hi. Um, you leave pretty much everything here and then you create the project, which will, you know, take 500 years depending on your internet connection and how Microsoft is feeling that day. 
So while that works on creating a project, we'll go back over to Visual Studios and we will come up here to our toolbar, which I'm afraid you can't see right now, to our team tool, where it'll give you a drop down of all these sorts of um, options. We're going to be clicking Connect to Team Foundation Server. And over here in our Team Explorer tab, it shows us all the current Team Foundation things we can connect to. So as you saw earlier in Visual Studios Online, we had this Shelter 420 project that had a couple people into it. So that's what we already have added. So we're going to add in a new thing, which we will go to Select Team Projects. And look, here's a couple things that we made. And in my personal account, um, if you come up here when you've added people correctly, it'll show you other people who you can access once you've been given permission. So the people I've added to my Shelter 420 project can also access it through this same window. Right now though, we're just going to cancel it and we're going to create a new team project. When you click that, it'll launch you back to the window that we were just at. Hey look, doesn't that look familiar? So you can also create new team projects through Visual Studios rather than going through online. So we're going to close out on that because we've already made it it. And look, we're, our team is actually going to love this. Okay, so we're going to go navigate to our project that we've already created. And look, now we're in the overview of our new project. It doesn't have anything in it, but that's okay. So we're going to go over to our members. Adding people to your project is really simple. You go add, add user, and then it'll give you a prompt. So we're going to add my good friend Greg. Hey Greg, how's it going? And we're going to say save changes. Now when you click save changes, it's going to give Greg um, a email that says, Hey, Clara added you to a project because she's great. And once you do that, it's going to be pretty simple from there. And then he'll be able to edit and add anything he wants to my project. But for the purpose of this, because I don't want to spam them with emails, we're just going to hit cancel. But that's how you add people to your project. Pretty simple. So let's go back over to Visual Studios. And we're going to refresh this. So right now we're still connected to our shelter projects. And we want to connect to a different project which, you know, if it ever does it, would be super, super nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to go to, I think it's in, we're going to disconnect from Team Foundation Server, just to kind of refresh things. And then we're going to connect to it again. You just have to click this little plug-in button for connect. So, we want to go to... Our new project we just made, you know, if we can find it. Give me a second. Then we're going to select, I think. So this one is my personal computer. This is not anything displayed on Team Foundation server. You should have a thing. It's basically your local host. This one is my account, which, hey, look, examples there. Woo! So if we want to, we can now connect to it. And as I cited earlier, um, any other members that you add to your project will be able to access the same project um, through this program. Uh, once you do that, you'll be able to add in code by checking it in and out. Um, so that way, you know, you don't run into problems where somebody in your team is going, hey, I added this, and somebody else is going, but wait, I added this. So you don't have to, like, butt heads together. So only one person can check something out. Um, actually, no, wait, I think it's the other way around. I think I'll, anybody can check it out, but only one person at a time can check it in. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, that's pretty much how Team Foundation Server works to get people together to work on your projects. And I'd show you stuff that's going on here, but because the example project is empty, there's not going to be anything here. So thank you for watching this. Um, it's been super. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.